Hey everybody, check it out. What's up? It's Heracles Porsche's professional intro. Yay! Hey, what's up everybody? It's Heracles Porsche here. And on today's video, we're going to be talking about the release announcement of Gunjack 2, what that means for Project Nova, people used to play Dust 514, that sort of thing. Uh, Gunjack 2 was announced for release on October 4th, that's about three days ago, by CCP. Um, I think the announcement about Gunjack 2 does explain quite a bit about you know, CCP Shanghai's workload, uh, which of course impacts you know, the project prospects of us seeing Project Nova. Um, first, I'm going to read the official announcement about Gunjack 2, and then uh, I'll go into some you know, speculation about, you know, Project Nova's chances of seeing an actual green light, etc. Alright, let's get into this. CCP Games announces Gunjack 2, End of Shift, exclusively for Google's Daydream platform. Uh, sequel to a best-selling VR game available November 2016. Okay, uh, October 4th, 2016, London, UK. CCP Games today announced Gunjack 2 End of Shift, the sequel to the critically acclaimed and best selling VR shooter Gunjack, which is currently available for Samsung, Gear VR, Oculus Rift, and HTC Vive VR platforms. Gunjack 2 End of Shift is created exclusively for Google's Daydream mobile VR platform and will be released in November 2016. Gunjack 2 is developed by CCP Shanghai's studio, which has quickly become world-renowned as a leader in the creation of quality mobile VR experiences. Uh, quote, we are extremely excited for the Daydream platform and what it means for VR, said Hilmar Vigar Putterson. CEO of CCP, uh, quote, collaborating with Google and developing Gunjack 2 for their VR platform has been an amazing experience. We started a new chapter for CCP a year ago with the launch of our first VR title, and now the upcoming release of a sequel on the Daydream platform bears testament to our commitment to VR in gaming and entertainment. End quote. Gunjack 2 and of Shift seemingly incorporates the Daydream controller as players use it to aim and shoot down swarms of enemies, strategically deploy their special weapons, and activate their energy shields to survive the most dangerous situations. The game will also include daily generated missions, ensuring endless replayability. Presence and storytelling are also core to the new title and Gunjack 2 End of Shift leverages cinematic cutscenes and voice acting to make players feel more than ever fully immersed and engaged in the action and narrative of the game. Uh, Gunjack 2's core gameplay is all about destroying masses of enemies and Google's Daydream controller allows us to make that experience even more natural and fun, said John Charles Gladuchon, executive producer of Gunjack 2 and of Shift. In Gunjack 2, we're pushing the limits of what a mobile VR game can be. In Gunjack 2 and of Shift, players are transported to a heavy duty mining rig in the outer ring of the Eve universe. Part ship and part station, the vast Kubera platform is home far from the eyes and comforts of civilization. Uh, everyone fights in New Eden, some fight for power, other for money, but out here on the fringes of space, most f fight simply to see another day. As a turret operator charged with destroying waves of attackers, players stand united with their crewmates in defense of the rig. These are not soldiers, but survivors, the scourge of would-be plunderers, with a formidable arsenal at their disposal. Players will live the life of a gunjack and protect the Kubera, its precious cargo and their crew, 
from bandits trying to blow the rig apart. More information can be found at uh, www.gunjack2.com and then there's a whole blurb about CCP games. Alright! So, that was the official announcement, everybody. So, that is all pretty interesting. Um, just for comparison's sake, you know, Gunjack 1 released almost uh, one year before Gunjack 2 gets officially released. So, yes, that's, uh, and, uh, but apparently for different platforms. So, I mean, that's all that's all pretty interesting to me, the fact that, uh, you know, Gunjack 1 gets released for three different VR platforms, and Gunjack 2, uh, clearly, I think it's pretty safe to say that uh, Google did some kind of deal with uh, CCP to uh, release an exclusive for their new... VR headset, and you know that's how uh, CCP has decided that their uh, CCP Shanghai shack is going to make them money. So uh, yeah, there you have it. Now we know where the uh, vast majority of CCP Shanghai's uh, workload has been going for the past few months, and uh, realistically, you know where it'll be going for the next two months. Uh, you know, because realistically, they're gonna have to spend, you know, a couple more months on this. They're gonna have to do bug fixes and, you know, PR. Uh, who knows what else? So, um, so yeah, that's the scoop, guys. We have a big announcement about CCP Shanghai working on VR and not so much as a peep on Project Nova. So now, now we just uh. Now I just have to spend the uh, rest of the video on uh, Radical Conjecture. Uh, well, CCP's PR tool right now for uh, Project Nova uh, has been silence. Uh, you know, aside from briefly mentioning uh, the project in what was more or less a private conversation, you know, CCP has kept a pretty firm lid on uh, whatever is going on with Project Nova, and we have to make all of our assumptions on Project Nova, you know, based on the silence that they're giving us. Alright, let me play the optimist and the pessimist on this one. So, you know, we know that uh, all of CCP Shanghai's work has probably been pretty much all going into... Uh, oh, this is going to be fun. Am I going to... what's going on? What's going to happen here? Oh. Oh, Bo, sorry, you got knocked off that ladder. I enjoyed that. Anyway, yeah, uh, CCP's workload has probably much been all going into developing these VR projects. So, you know, if you make the really, really very safe assumption that they're going to have to keep putting some work into this project after release for uh, bugs, fixes, promotions, etc., like I said before, uh, it's realistic to assume that there is no way that this thing is going to you know there's that there's no way there's going to be any work starting on project nova uh before december of next year i think that's a very safe assumption so let's be optimistic and say they haven't abandoned project nova completely um and they work really really hard on it and they don't get distracted by any more vr projects then, you know, optimistically, you know, we could be seeing, you know, Project Nova maybe the following year, I'd say. I'd say that's the soonest we could see Project Nova. If they get started on it right away, we could probably see it, uh, you know, at the start of 2018. I would say that's the, that that's me at my most optimistic. Me at my most pessimistic, the whole project just uh, dies a quiet death. And they will, they will, you know... So like I said, that's we have to assume that's a possibility, unfortunately, because uh, you know, in terms of uh, it would be very consistent with what we've seen in terms of uh, you know CCP's new PR mode. 
It's not unreasonable to assume that uh, CCP Shanghai could continually get distracted with uh, VR projects. And that they might, I don't know, if they'll just make Gunjack, you know, 3 and 4 and 5 or, or you know, something like that. And, uh, you know, shooters from the EVE universe will just go completely to the wayside. But uh, if they did, if that does happen, they'll try to let Project Nova die as quiet a death as possible. And you know, obviously the ideas behind Legion already had their time and died in development. So uh, lots of you know it happens all the time in video game companies. Uh, they start designing something and decide it's unfeasible halfway through. You know, this is not this is not a singular thing that happens just with CCP. This happens to all kinds of video game projects. And then maybe a game, maybe it'll fall somewhere in the, little, in the middle. Maybe CCP will just be a little bit distracted. CCP will just be a little bit distracted with VR, and maybe we'll see Project Nova get greenlit in a couple years. But uh, I would say that, that that's the, the outside time for it. I think if Project Nova stays in development for, you know, more than three years that'll effectively be the end of it so let's hope they can uh you know end their silence push something out the door but you know we got to keep our expectations realistic anyway those are all my thoughts i hope you guys enjoyed the video remember guys i welcome all your feedback it always helps and until next time everybody i shall see you star side